guys, how you doing? Today, Audio Head here with another review, this time with the classic AK-100 by Alston Kern. Uh, this is a digital audio player, a high-res digital audio player. Uh, it's come out uh, about a year ago, I think now, but it is a phenomenal little player. A great step up from the Apple uh, product line. It comes with uh, high-res playback, obviously one of the best. It does all the way up to 192. So it does as a wide variety of um, file type playback. You can also check it out on the website. They have a detailed list of every single file type. But it is firmware, firmware upgradable, so that's good. So any changes coming out in the future, uh, they can definitely adapt to those kind of things. As you can see here... Uh, the volume control is, is kind of unique from at least all the Apple stuff in that it has a physical volume no knob control here. Um, it's a digital control, but it uh, works really well. Uh, and I kind of like having that there. Uh, you can reach into your pocket without looking at the screen and just the volume here. And on this side, Let's see if I can get this looking good. You can see three buttons. The top one for uh, track up, track down, and then pause play in the middle. Very cool because, once again, you don't have to pull it out of your pocket. You can just grip this thing and adjust away. Now, you can also, of course, um, adjust things directly from the touch screen they have here, uh, which is pretty nice. Track forward, track back, play. Here is um, the menu as you go back, all songs, album, and artist. It scrolls, playlist, genre, most played, mastering, quality, sound, folder, settings. You, there's also an internal um, EQ available that you can uh, toy around with. But for the most part, the interface is pretty awesome. Uh, maybe not as slick as some of Apple's stuff. Uh, but I think it works absolutely fine. Only the most nitpicky or people who are like m major Apple fans, I think, would have any problem with it whatsoever. It is, it works great. It plays great. And most of all, uh, uh, what you're probably wondering is how does it sound? This particular, I think, sounds absolutely phenomenal. For in-ear monitors, custom in-ear monitors is one of the best out there. Mainly because the background is absolutely black. It black as it gets. The details, uh, the dynamic kind of contrast from black to white as you as you hear things is is amazing. It is so dark. Uh, it sounds very unique in that regard. It sounds very special in how black and the texture and and just that kind of blank space on which to kind of paint the acoustic um, canvas, if you will. The canvas is so nice and black. Uh, on top of that, the fidelity is phenomenal. When you think about it, you have a, a player straight to a DAC. And in this, in this particular chipset is the Wolfston, is a Wolfston brand, to a headphone amplifier. So really, you're getting kind of a nice package for the retail, which is actually $699. So it is a, a deal more than the Apple, but you're actually getting quite a bit for that. In, in, in that... You're getting like a real piece of high fidelity equipment here. So as far as moving up the scale, so in-ear monitors, they're kind of tricky. You know, they can they always reveal a lot of background noise. That's that's the thing. That's what makes them really tricky. No problem with that whatsoever. In fact, some of the best kind of sound quality you can get from a custom in-ear monitor with these. In fact, I've seen them used at shows all the time from the big guys as a reference. So that says a lot by itself. But on top of that, um, with a look, kind of the more the low resistance um, headphones, uh, the LCD3 is driven fine. I've actually seen Odyssey's use this in a demo as well. So there, it matches really well with those magnetic planar um, headphone styles, uh, the Odyssey's that are easier to drive. So the HE6 by Hi Fi Man, which is a very high. Uh, impedance, kind of hard to drive headphone. Will is probably not the best pairing for this. I don't think it has enough juice for the, the that big boy. But the Odyssey's line, especially the closed back, which is even easier to drive than the LCD3, the LCD XC, oh, good match for these things. If, if you are if you have a really hard to drive headphone, you may want to look at uh, an external amplifier. You can 
plug in one right I've done it before right here uh, with, to the headphone amplifier and you turn this all the way up to 75 at the top and uh, just one more thing you can actually see uh, once you adjust this you can actually um, slide the volume with your finger as well so there are two ways to adjust the volume, just as a, as a side note. In any case, headphone selection is is pretty good. Uh, I think the sound quality with the, with the right headphone is phenomenal. Uh, they have recently bumped up the product line, so there is one below this called the AK10, one above called the AK120, uh, and then now just a brand new flagship called the AK240, uh, which the price point I believe is is much higher. So the product line is really good, and if that's any sign at all as how this unit is doing, I think it is a very positive one. So, uh, really cool product. If you get a chance to check it out, I highly recommend it. This is one of those products that I actually I do recommend uh, in a big way. It's a great product uh, if you can afford it. I know six ninety nine isn't isn't in the pocket of everyone, but as far as something that is a step up from your standard. You know, a lot of people play on their stuff on the phone. If you want to step up from your phone and um, you got the money to invest, this is definitely uh, a great place to start. And like I said, if you really want to go, check out some of the higher models because they even go higher than this one. But as a starting point, uh, you really do see some incremental better sound quality out of this out of than, let's say, your phone, especially if you're looking at custom in-ear monitors. So really fun stuff. Uh, Thank you guys for checking out the videos and subscribe if you can. Take it easy.